My name is Jesse Leepak. I'm the Great Lakes Fisheries and Ecosystem Health Specialist for New York Sea Grant. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the valuable king salmon in Lake Ontario. Learning more about Lake Ontario's king salmon. King salmon represent one of the most important fish in the Great Lakes. Pacific salmon were originally stocked throughout the Great Lakes in the 1960s and 70s to control growing alewife populations that were dying off by the millions and fouling popular beaches. Since then, salmon fishing has become extremely popular in the Great Lakes. In Lake Ontario, king salmon grow larger than they do in any other Great Lake, and the fishery brings in millions of dollars annually to the local economy and helps support a variety of businesses around the lake. In an effort to better understand these important fish, New York Sea Grant personnel and Cornell University researchers are teaming up to learn more about king salmon behavior and movement. The collaborative project funded by New York Sea Grant is using newly developed pop-off satellite tags to track the depth and temperature where king salmon are located. The tags also contain accelerometers to tell when the salmon are chasing prey fish and swimming quickly to catch them. The tagging process goes a little something like this. First, researchers must find and catch the fish with the help and expertise of knowledgeable charter captains. Once the fish are landed, they are put in a styrofoam cradle to help keep them calm and lake water is pumped across their gills so they can breathe. The fish are then tagged with a monofilament harness that connects the tag to the fish. The harness is crimped and the excess monofilament is cut off. The tagged fish is ready to go. The fish are lowered back down to cooler water temperatures using another harness that is pop free when the fish arrives at the depth where it was caught. The tags are set to pop off in 30, 60, or 90 days or when the fish stops changing depths like when it comes into a river to spawn. When they release, tags transmit their location along with some of the data collected. If retrieved, researchers can download even more information stored in the tags that was recorded once a second the entire time the tag was attached to the fish. The information provided by the tags can be used by scientists to understand salmon behavior, by biologists to inform their management decisions, and also by anglers so they know more about where actively feeding salmon might be located. Overall, the project aims to protect, maintain, and enhance the economically and ecologically valuable king salmon fishery in Lake Ontario.